Okay, so hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to simply be showing you how to resolve most um, Outlook app errors. So this will um, reset most of your Office 365 products back to their default settings. For example, when you first install Office 365, um, this this would be how it is basically. So what you want to do, just quickly go, go to your start menu or search button. I have the search off because it annoys me. Um, go to there and type in app with dot cpl. This is just a shortcut. You can do it through the control panel, obviously. Um, just click there, and then you'll be brought to what you've got installed. And then you want to scroll down, find Microsoft Office 365, right click, and then press change. And then, sorry, the admin's just brought up on this side. You can see it now. Um, press yes to the admin prompt and then you've got two options here um, what I would suggest depends on your scenario at the moment a quick repair will use um, the current installation files on your device whereas an online repair will reach out to Microsoft and download I believe it reaches the latest version so you might want to be careful if you're in an organization because I think it might cause cause it to update for example so say if you were on I don't know 1903 version of Outlook and then you accidentally did that that could cause it to update to maybe the latest 2020 version so you want to be careful when when doing that but for most instances you can just use a quick repair are you ready to start just press repair and then it will um, give you a progress bar just got to press continue on that it will try and close that for you and then you also got this one here where it says it's just doing its stuff. Once you just leave that to run, it shouldn't take too long. Right, now it's done. It'll say it's done repairing. Close. And then just run your Outlook as you normally would do. And there we are. That should work fine. Um, depends on the issue, obviously. Um, but that will so solve most um, application errors, like if it got corrupted or something, um, if you can't open files, Outlook files properly or something like that, or Word files, whatever. So yeah, so it will refresh all the Office products.